Can y'all believe it? 3,000 subscribers. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. What is up, y'all? This video is typically one of those videos where I just give thanks to everybody that's been supporting me. Give thanks to those that's looking out for me and got my back. Just everything because of the simple fact I never thought that my channel would be growing like it is. Um, for those of you that don't know, I started off doing vlogs on Facebook back in 2009. And I stopped doing vlogs in early 2011. That's when I stopped doing vlogs because I started, I stopped doing vlogs on Facebook in early 2011. And I started doing vlogs on YouTube in late 2010. So I was doing videos for both YouTube and um, Facebook as you know, as the time went on. So, I started off on Facebook. And I know some of y'all are on my Facebook page. So, if y'all have the time, y'all can go back and look at my older videos when I did those. Because I was like 20 and 21 years old when I did those videos. But with that being said, um, I started off on Facebook. And everybody was saying, well, why don't you get on YouTube? Why don't you start doing videos on YouTube? And, you know, I had a YouTube account. But, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't think that I had what it had the personality to gravitate a audience. You know what I mean? Because when I started off, I was watching mainly Sweet Addictions TV. And I'm telling you, I was watching Sweet Addictions TV when Candy and Skittles was on it. So, you know, I was watching from the very beginning. My first video that I saw from Sweet Addictions TV was Lil Miss Shit and Pickles. That was the first video that I saw from Sweet Addictions. And I was glued from that point on. And then, you know, I was watching the Scorpion show with Mikael. I was watching it from the very beginning. So, those were the only two people that I was basically subscribed to. And of course, you know, as time went on, I got into people like Miss PTV and Spoken Reasons and Cadillac Kimberly and um, who else? It was it's, it was quite a few of them. Um, I got into the Boy Dashing, then I got into the Delicious Queen eighty three, and then I got into Much Love from KY, and I got into Gigs. You know, I got into those people, and it was like, you know what I mean? Like this is, you know, the more I watch these people, the more I kind of believe that my personality is just as big. But you know, me not having that much confidence in myself, I was like, these motherfuckers ain't gonna watch me. And you know, my friend that everybody who watched me from the beginning should know. Her name is Jasmine, but she went by to handle Miss Hello Kitty. Um, she was like, you know what? If you don't get on YouTube, how about I start off doing certain reviews with you and then you will get more comfortable. So me and her, it started off with me and her. You know, it was my channel, but she was like a co-host from time to time. She was doing Real Housewives of Atlanta reviews with me. And that was when Cynthia and Phaedra first came on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, of course, that was a while back when I first started. And, you know, when she got her a new job and, you know, she couldn't do the videos like she wanted to and on um, the schedule got hectic, I just decided, okay, I'm going to keep doing it by myself because I introduced the channel by myself, but I had her come in with me to talk about certain shows that we both watched together. So then as time went on after she left, you know, I had kept doing my Basketball Wives reviews and then my Basketball Wives Season 2 finale review had got me to 100 subscribers and then so on and so on and so on. And then when My Wives came out, me and Much Love from KY was featured on VH1 Blogs. So that was a milestone for my channel. And then, you know, as time went on, I started getting noticed by other YouTubers. And I got compared to other YouTubers. Like, I got compared to people like um the scorpion show um um uh, quadir i got compared to him i got it um compared to kingsley as well and you know that's just what it is and um i was like you know like how can i get compared to them these people got way more viewers than me i'm not trying to be no watered down version of them like what they do they are doing it they are doing a damn thing you know what i'm saying and i'm not nothing like them and then everybody was like oh you don't have to be like them be like yourself and i'm like well that's what i'm doing but you know it is what it is you know i respect everybody for doing what they do and um 
you know, it just was what it was. And as I kept on doing it, I kept on getting noticed by certain YouTubers that I was watching. Like, it had really got got it got me in my heart when I noticed that Giggs was watching me. And I had been watching her for a whole year. Or when um, Delicious Queen started watching me. And I'm like, oh, my God. And um, who else was it? Because I got to look down and remember who it is. Because I be forgetting names. Then uh, when Much Love said she was watching me. And she asked me. I did not know she was watching me until our videos was on VH1 Blinds together. I was like, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And then... As the years went by, I started gaining a fan base. And I know who my fan base is. And most of my fan base are women. Most women watch me. And that is what it is. I know who my audience is. And I give it to them. You know, raw, no condom. That's what I do. And I just want to make it clear to everybody. Um, the, thing, the antics that I have on these videos, they are not staged or act out just for the camera. Now, I will say that this is how I act in my normal life. However, there might be a teensy weensy little things, a little bit of dramatics that's added simply because, you know, when you get in front of the camera, you want to make sure that you bring it. But at the same time, I am dramatic in person. I am emotional in person. I am crazy in person. I am wretched in person. So, you know, my wit is really what I say in real life. Like, the nicknames that I give these people on these reality shows, this is exactly what I do in real life. And if you watch my Instagram videos or my vines, you see that they are no different from what I'm doing on these videos. I am totally myself. I'm not doing anything extra. The only thing that's really extra is, like, the hand gestures and the props and everything else. That's the only thing that's extra. But as far as my personality, that is who I really am. So, you know, it is what it is. So, I just want to thank everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. That's been supporting me from the very beginning to people who are just now catching on to a lot of people. And I even typed a couple of subscribers' names down that I notice all the time. And there are some subscribers that I did not um, type in because I forgot their names. So, I just want everybody to not um, be mad at me for this because I'm... I'm sorry, I can't remember everybody's name. I just went down the line with people that I just know that I see all the time. You know what I mean? Um, so, with that being said, um, let me just give out my shout-outs to the YouTubers that support me, the YouTubers that I love, and the YouTubers that I've been watching from the jump. I want to send a special shout out to Bounty Blue. I love Bounty Blue so much. And whenever I come to New Orleans, we have to do a video together. And I want I want to let everybody know that when I call out these people's names, if y'all watching them, let them know I'm talking about their ass. They need to see what I got. They need to see what I'm saying about their ass. So, Bounty Blue, I love you to death. You have been such a faithful supporter of me. And I really love you. And I can't wait till we finally meet. I hope we meet. Because once I come to New Orleans... Because there's been some plans for me to come to New Orleans. And if I do come to New Orleans, I'm going to have to do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to do something. Shout out to Ashley Miller. She's like a big sister of mine. She supports me. I support her. And I do not play about Ashley. So, mm -mm. Shout out to Closet Freak. I love you. Um, from the time I shouted you out, you've been nothing but supportive. And we've always shown each other love. And um, I just love it. I just... Love your spirit and everything about you. You've always given me advice when you see me act a little bit too ratchet. You've stopped me in my tracks and gave me that advice that I needed. So I want to, you know, thank you for that. D Delicious Queen 83, one of the first people that ever put me on. I want to say, I want to send love to you tenfold. Where have you been? Why aren't, why aren't you making any videos, girl? Like, you, be, you better get back on it. Nate Bessa, um, we recently connected and I just want to send you all the love in the world. Um, I've been shouting you out and giving you so, so much, um, suggestion because I really think that you deserve it. Um, I love your personality. I love the way you talk. You're such a sweet girl. And I just want to thank you for what, you know, for shouting me out just as well as I've been shouting you out. Shout out to Sashawn Bradley. Um, of the of guys at brunch. Um, I want to send a special shout out to you. I put my mama on your videos, and you have been killing her. Like when I say that she be screaming, laughing at you, and she she be screaming, laughing at Bounty Blue too. But she really be screaming, laughing at you. Lord, I made a mistake and flush it to her. But um, she really be screaming, laughing at you, Sasha and Bradley. So I just want to send a special shout out to you. 
Much love from KY. My mama love you too. Um, I just, I think that you have such a good heart and you have been nothing but kind and sweet to me. And I love every time you give your opinion on something because you're just a mama bear to me. You know what I'm saying? And when you came down, when you came to Mississippi and when you went to Biloxi, you should have stopped by. You know, you should have went through Ken and I could have met you at the gas station or something. Like we could have chopped it up before you went down to Biloxi. So I just want to say special shout out to you. Forest Rocks. I love Forest Rocks. I love Forest Rocks. I love Forest It's fucking rocks. I love it. When I see her ass with that bomb ass weed wig, whatever the fuck she is wearing, she be rocking that shit up in that car and she give it to you the way that we need to give it. The way that it needs to be given to us. And she, those impressions is off the chain. So shout out to Forest Rocks. Shout out to um, the, the the entire cast and the creator of the Rainbow Connection. I'm waiting for those season finales. And after the season is over, I will be giving y'all my review on the season. Um, the boy Dashing, he hasn't done a video in like a year. And um, he posted one um, a couple of weeks ago. And it was him in a car with a friend dancing to Tamar Braxton. So he was one of, also one of the first people that shouted me out too. So I just want to send you out that little back tenfold. Shout out to I'm the Realist. You are so California. You keep it motherfucking real. And I love you to death. And I would love to meet you. You just give it to me. You're just so grand. You a grand ass bitch. And I love you to death. Jamar Washington. We recently um, connected. And I've been shouting you out as well. Um, I think that you're a great personality. I want to see you do big things on YouTube. And I want to see you grow just as much as I've grown. And even if you get, if, even if you surpass me, I don't give a fuck. I just think that you need to be seen and heard. Um, on the Ocean 07, um, like I said, if you're part of the LGBT community and you want um, videos that's pertaining to y'all, um, I suggest that y'all su um, subscribe to On The Ocean um, 007. He has a lot of great topics, and he's really passionate about the things that he says, and I love him. So, um, shout out to him. Gigs, I cannot wait to see you on MTV, too. And I cannot wait to see you on this little reality show that you was talking about. Because, you know, I want to say, you know, I just want to say this to you, Gigs. Like, I've been watching you forever, and to hear that you're going to be on MTV, too, and to see that you're going to be doing some form of reality show with Wendy Williams that she's producing, I am really saying that I'm looking to you, because if you can get, you know, discovered on YouTube, just like everybody else can, I'm sure that I can. And that goes to show you that I need to keep doing what I'm doing and keep doing it well, and because of you, I'm going to keep doing it. So, I love you, Gigs. So I hope you see this. I love you. Shut up, Dorian. Um, I love him. He's in a he's a fellow K Michelle supporter, just like I am. Um, we talk to each other a lot a lot on Facebook, and he's getting him a new channel. I think it's gonna be called Get My Personality. He's been going through a lot of changes in his life, and I suggest that y'all tune in to his channel. When he get his new channel, I'm gonna post it up on one of my videos. Um, Quan's World One. Haven't seen you do many videos lately, but you're another one who have been um, supporting me, and I'm gonna continue to support you. So shout out to you, and um, you need to get your, get that ass back on YouTube and do what it do. New Orleans, um, LIL, I shouted you out in one of my last videos this week, and um, I think that you need to be seen and heard as well. I want to see everybody be seen and heard, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that um, I shout out, I shout you out because I like you, and I'm shouting you out because I see the potential in you and see where, where you could be. If my ass can get to 3,000 subscribers, I'm sure that the people... That um that I'm shouting out right now can do the same because y'all got better personalities than me in my opinion. Um, shout out to my girl Sierra China Dice. If y'all ain't caught on to her yet, y'all really need to. That is my girl. I went to college with her. Um, she stopped by the house the other night and we were talking. And um, I think one day we, me and her, need to do a video. If that's what it takes for y'all to get into her, y'all really need to get into her. Her name is China Dice. Get into her. So I'm gonna send some shouts to some people that I notice a lot up under my videos or on Twitter. Um, I want to send shout out to Life Is the Dash, Drunken Monkey, Nicole Pollard, Pharrell Man, Lavon 101, Nicole, I mean 89 R Nicole 1, Vuitton Donna, Classy Barb 89, Allen 13E, Josh Bryan, and Simply E88. Those are the people that I decided to shout out because those are the main ones that I noticed. It's a couple of y'all that I noticed as well, but I just can't pronounce some of y'all names. So please don't um 
you know, don't hold it against me. So with that being said, thank y'all. I love y'all. Keep supporting me. And I love the way y'all ride for me. You know, with the more subscribers I've gotten, the more hate that I've been getting. You know, I've been called a faggot on every video that I posted this week. I've been called gay as hell on every video that I posted this week. I've been accused of having HIV and AIDS because I like K. Michelle and they don't like what I'm saying. Like, I mean... You know, the more subscribers I got, the more hate that I've get gotten. But, you know, it comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? And I knew what I was getting myself into when I decided to do this. So, with that being said, hi, haters. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, it is what it is. So, with that being said, y'all, I'm out of here. Thank you for supporting me. And I'm out. Follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Mr. Unscore Still Standing with that G. Follow me on Instagram at King of the South 23. And I'm out of here.